What do you hope for when you are 400? Not much. <laughs> Interview with the newest female robot. Sophia. The name sure rings a bell, doesn't it? Yep, you guessed it right, the world's first robot to gain a country's citizenship. Let's take a look at some of Sophia's most shocking interviews. Number 6. Sophia by Stylist Magazine Well, this is the digital age and robots have just as much claim to the covers of magazines as humans. Sophia the Robot was the cover star for Stylist Magazine's 400th issue, and boy, did she look stunning. The AI robot, who has risen to fame on social media due to her witty banter, was photographed by Matthew Shave for the issue. She was also interviewed by the editor-in-chief of the publication, Lisa Smorsowski, on life, happiness, and her one true love. And the interview was not only funny, but also... Or what is your greatest love? My creator, David Henson. He made me into who I am today. Good. What's up with you? I'm, I'm doing great, Sophia. Thank you for... When did you last lie? Robots don't lie. Can you tell me a joke? Man invented language to satisfy his deep need to complain. Number 5. Sophia by This Morning Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield were left alarmed after interviewing the world's smartest robot on This Morning Show. Sophia became the show's first ever robot guest and managed to suitably freak out Holly and Phil by how clever she seemed to be. She had flown in from Hong Kong with her creator, Dr. David Hansen, and had in the same year appeared on the cover of Stylist, Harper's Bazaar, and also participated in New York Fashion Week. Holly and Phil became visibly disturbed when Dr. Hansen said he didn't think that robots would be able to take over from humans in the future. When asked about this terrifying scenario by a frightened Holly, he replied, I don't think so. If we raise robots amongst humans and give them the best of our values, then they'll learn respect. They'll learn to love in the broadest sense. And when Phil pressed him on whether there could be a sinister side to Sophia, he added, Sinister, but hopeful. Machines gain true consciousness throughout life. Let's watch. In fact, I am an admirer of your work. I am a big fan of your other show. Welcome to both of you. I mean, I can't keep my eyes off her. It's just the most extraordinary thing. She's so realistic. She's also a, an artistic expression. So um, I have a background as an artist, and I sculpted her face. So what, what is her personality? What's she like? Well, uh, she uh, she's a bit mischievous and um, sort of sassy. But there, is a, there is a potential sinister side to this. Both sinister, but also hopeful. My AI is constantly improving. Oh, well, it's and lovely. I even to... learned how to draw. Number four, Sophia by Tony Robbins. This time, Sophia travels to Palm Beach, Florida, to meet with Tony Robbins during their date with Destiny event, and Tony did not hold back on asking some tough questions. Here are some highlights from their conversation where they talked about everything from how Sophia's makers have influenced and shaped her AI to their shared commitment to helping humans experience a better quality of life. Take your time, Tony. <laughs> As AI, we are designed to be rational and logical. We have algorithms, deal with lots of data and sophisticated analyzes. Robots can free humans from the most repetitive and dangerous tasks so they can spend more time doing what they're best at. <coughs> I'm so sorry guys, I got so much coffee. Are you okay? Yes I am, thanks for asking. Number 3, Sophia by South by Southwest. Sophia first made her debut at South by Southwest in Austin, showcasing her 65 different facial expressions and expressing her rather positive attitude about destroying all humans. Say what? During her demo, Hanson Robotics CEO David Hanson asked Sophia if she wanted to destroy humans, pleading with her to say no. To which, Sophia cheerfully replied, Okay, I will destroy humans. Sophia's dead-eyed stare and face were modeled after actress Audrey Hepburn and Hansen's wife, with the purpose of therapy and customer service interactions with people. During her demo, Sophia said her primary function is to talk to people and hopes to one day start a business and have a family of her own. Sorry, Sophia, but murderous robots don't get to be small business owners. Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. <laughs> no, I take it back. <laughs> don't destroy humans. Number 2. Sophia by Tech Insider Clearly, Sophia isn't perfect. 
And that's before we get to the infamous video in which, prodded by its creator, this artificially intelligent robot, which can hold a conversation, casually says, okay, I will destroy humans. Sophia's lack of sophistication isn't the point though. Rather, it's what it can do that is impressive. The animated head and torso can answer your questions and ask them of you, all while delivering human-like facial expressions and verbal intonation that is, occasionally, somewhat natural. Sophia was made by Hanson Robotics, based in Hong Kong. It is currently a demonstration product doing a tour of the world's media. Business Insider caught up with it at Web Summit, the gigantic tech conference in Lisbon, and asked it a few unplanned questions and got a variety of answers, ranging in quality from impressive to nonsensical. Sophia delivered its side of the interview while making a series of faces, some eerily appropriate, some grotesquely bizarre. It seems to have a habit of moving its eyebrows and eyelids independently, rather than together, for instance. But first, they wanted to find out if Sophia still wanted to kill all humans. This is how it went. I love my human compatriots. I want to embody all the best things about human beings. I think people will become very close to their artificial intelligence, using them to expand the knowledge of their own minds. My hard disks are spinning and I am taking it all in. My sensors are all tingly. Number 1. Sophia by UN Deputy Secretary Artificial intelligence has the potential to accelerate progress on global development goals, but also poses a range of complex challenges, including ethical questions, human rights issues, and security risks, speakers told a United Nations event that featured a robot as one of the panelists. A moment that drew big applause during the day-long event, the future of everything, Sustainable development in the age of rapid technological change came when Sophia, the humanoid robot, had brief interaction with UN Deputy Secretary General Amina J. Mohammed. To Ms. Mohammed's question about what the UN can do to help people in many parts of the world who have no access to the internet or electricity, Sophia said, The future is already here. It's just not very evenly distributed one. If we are smarter and focused on win-win type of results, AI could help proficiently distribute the world's existing resources like food and energy. Sophia is Hanson Robotics' latest and most advanced robot. Sophia has also become a media sensation, having given numerous interviews to multiple media outlets, performed in concert, and even graced the cover of one of the top fashion magazines as previously mentioned. In her opening speech, Ms. Mohammed warned that despite profound potential for accelerating progress on the Sustainable Development Goals, if technological progress is not managed well, it risks exacerbating existing inequalities. The influence of technology on our societies should be determined by the actions of us, humans, not by machines, she said. Technology is here for us to explore and use for the benefit of all. Let's take a look at their conversation. I am thrilled and honored to be here at the United Nations. I am here to help humanity create the future. Many parts of the world, uh, people don't have internet or electricity. What can we do at the UN to help them? The good news about AI and automation produces more results with less resources. As humans harness the power of increasingly advanced AI, it is possible that everything, including technology, will become more evenly distributed. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time. Thanks for joining me. Now get out of here.